A friend of mine went up to Scotland recently, and just got back a few days ago. I forget the exact reason he went, but these are the emails that he's been sending me. They get really strange as they go on, so I thought I would share them with you guys to see if anyone would have any theories on what the hell is going on. I am omitting some stuff about our personal lives and general stuff that no one would be interested in. Received Thursday, 2.30am. I'm home, and glad about it. Scotland itself was kind of dull, but the trip down was messed up. I'm alright now, but I was pretty freaked at the time. I guess I'll start at the very beginning. The drive up there and the trip itself were predictably awful, despite the wonder that is my DS. I remain emotionally detached from my family, but on the plus side, I've got a level 70 Dragonite, so I can't complain. It was on the trip back that it happened. There was a lot of traffic, and so we hadn't even made it halfway home before it was late night. My parents' business had taken longer than they'd expected, so we'd only been able to set off home around mid-afternoon. But my dad decided that he didn't want to spend another day in Scotland, so we were just going to drive home in the middle of the night. Didn't make much sense to me either. We were driving along some road an hour or so north of the border, based on the fact that we passed the border an hour later. I don't know the exact area. It had gotten pretty dark, and at this time of day, the roads were quiet. We still saw the occasional car every so often, but it was something like one or two every quarter of an hour. My dad had the radio on at this point, listening to some random station. It had been on for quite a while, but it was just typical pop music, that kind of thing. We hadn't seen a car in at least half an hour, and aside from the noises of traveling and dark empty fields all around, there were no real signs of life anywhere. A bit dramatic, I know. I suppose I'm just giving justification for what, in hindsight, might have been a little bit of an overreaction. Anyway, this song starts playing on the radio, a slow, folk-like kind of ballad. I don't know what it was called, but a deep-voiced male singer sang, It's alright to cry, crying gets the sad out of you. It's alright to cry, it might make you feel better. It stuck in my head because it seemed really inappropriate for the station that we were playing, and nothing like the songs that had already been on. It was really odd. I can't explain it, but listening to it made me feel a little strange. I felt like I was being watched, which is kind of stupid, given that I was in a moving car with my family, but halfway through the song it cut out. At first there were just general static sounds, but then a god-awful screeching sound came in, and then kind of a wet clicking noise. It was like nothing I'd ever heard before, and it filled the car, it was that loud. It got louder as it went on, and then it became more like rumbling, with breathy noises. The best way I could describe it would be like a dog hacking up a lung, but it was worse than that. There were big chunk noises interspersed with the sounds, like people were throwing up or screaming or some kind of mixture of the two. It was pretty fucking trippy. It lasted for all of like five seconds, but I shit you not when I say those five seconds, they're gonna stay with me for the rest of my life. The sound faded out in that song from before. I looked it up getting home, it's apparently called It's Alright to Cry, started playing again. Nobody said anything until it was finished, and even then I was the first one to speak. That was pretty messed up, huh? What, the song? Kind of unusual for the station. I thought so too. My dad answered me. No, what happened in the middle? What was that? Eh, the signal probably just got cut from one of the hills around here. I was getting a bit impatient at this point. Yeah, but what about the noise? I've never heard anything like that. Chris, my friend's brother, looked at me in a really odd way and said, It's static. Static? 
You know, I'm used to my brother messing me around, but there was no way anyone would believe for a second that that noise had just been static. I ignored him. Dad, what do you think it was? And without missing a goddamn beat, he answered, just static. He even sounded puzzled. Meanwhile, another song had started. I forget what it was exactly, but it was typical pop crap that had been playing before. I asked each of my family, and they all swear to me they heard nothing close to what I described to them. Just static. Even my mother, and I can't believe that she'd lie to me. The rest of the drive home was pretty quiet. I think my family thought that I'd gone a bit odd, and I wasn't in much of a mood to talk myself, as I half suspected that they were playing some hilarious joke on me. I don't know, in retrospect, maybe it was just some funny effect of sound waves bouncing, nodes and such, but Christ, it felt so wrong at the time. Even now, I feel a little unsettled. That was the end of the email. I replied late on Friday night with some usual stuff telling him about what I'd been up to, how my girlfriend had just gotten a new job, that kind of thing. I said the thing that he'd heard was probably just some weird distortion and to pay it no mind. The next correspondence I got was this. Saturday, 12.21pm. Hey man, thanks for getting back to me. Tell Lisa I said congrats on the job. You're probably right about that noise. To be honest, I think I'm just having a funny week. I keep seeing dark things in the corner of my eye, or getting a feeling like something's behind me then turning around and nothing's there. I sound like a paranoid pothead, I know, but I've been clean for months now. It's probably stress, my dad says, hence the thing in the car. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time. That was the end of the second email. Kind of concerned, I replied straight away. I'd been online at the time asking him if he was sure he was okay, and that we could talk if he was stressed, etc. He replied, Saturday, 12.50 p.m. Nah, don't worry about it, it's nothing serious. Like I said, it's just flashes of an image or something, which are probably just floaters in my eye, or thinking I hear some sound for a moment that disappears. No doubt someone will let me know if I start going full mental. There was one thing that really shook me, though. It was late last night, and I was just checking out the web, listening to some of that Jeff stuff you sent me, on my headphones, when the sound started to get a little funny. Like, there were extra notes and beats that hadn't been there before. At first I thought it was just lag or something, so I paused and started again, but it actually made it worse. I moved to the next song in the playlist, and it still kept doing it. After a few seconds, it sounded like two entirely different songs were playing on top of each other. I started trying to pick out what the other thing is, when guess what the hell I start hearing? It's alright to cry, crying gets the sad out of you. It sounded weird now, kind of distorted or changed in pitch, but I was sure I heard that song playing in the background. It was late, and I was the only one here. The parents and Chris have gone out for the evening, so I was pretty freaked out. I sat there listening for a few seconds as the other song became more and more prominent. Suddenly, I thought, or I convinced myself or something, that I heard a chunk noise, and the hoarse exhaling noise began. It was the noise I'd heard in the car, I'm sure. I'll admit it, I was terrified. All the disgust I'd experienced while I sat in the car hearing that noise for the first time, that returned, but with a sense of immediacy, of presence. It felt like it was right there with me like it was touching me. I felt a chill and the hair on my arm stood up. Instantly, my hand flew down to the speaker to left my computer and hit the power button. But the sound didn't disappear right away. It carried on for a couple more seconds, something that usually doesn't happen with those speakers, and I swear, just before I died, it almost sounded like talking. Pretty messed up, huh? Like I say, it's gotta be stress or something. I had a talk with my dad and he listened to the whole story. When I'd finished, he didn't say anything for a while, he just looked at me quietly with a strange expression. 
Eventually he said I shouldn't worry, it's probably just stress from the A-levels combined with too many horror movies, and to try and take it easy. Thanks for asking anyway, though. You take care. And that was the end of the email. I really don't know what to make of this. Truth be told, I was busy with my own life. The next I heard from him was this. Sunday, 7.40pm. Hey man, can you call me? I know it's out of the blue and it's a bit weird, but I really need to talk to someone and <laughs> knowing your lack of a life, you'll probably be on when I send this. Seriously though, it's kind of important. Here's my number. It's my house number. I can't, I can't find my mobile. I was online, so I tried calling him, but it wouldn't go through. I replied as much in the email and told him to call me back, give him my number, and suggesting that one of us try his mobile to help him find it. Then I got this back. Sunday, 7.45 p.m. Doesn't work for me either. Something's wrong. I don't have time now, but I'll email again later, I guess. Try to call me again if you can. Keep trying. And that was the end of that email. The next one I got was Wednesday, 9.50 p.m. It's not going away. God, I feel like a total nutcase as I tell you this, but I hear the noise again. When I sleep, no. When I wait to go to sleep, in my room, when it's all quiet. It's like something just on the edge of hearing, but it's there, and no one believes me. I'm the only one here tonight, they've all gone, but I feel something watching me, like something's in the house. Crazy things are happening, man. I hear the shower turn on in the middle of the night, just for a few seconds, and then stop. When I eventually persuade myself to go take a look, nothing's there. The mailbox flaps. Probably street kids, you say. I went to the bathroom an hour ago. When I sat in the toilet, I heard a noise outside. I immediately stopped dead and hold my breath. I swear to God, I heard footsteps out in the hall. And that's not all I heard. The bathroom door is quite high off the ground, letting light in. But something steps in front of the door, and it blocked the light. And it just waited there. Like it stood facing the door. Like it's looking through it. Eventually, after I'd sat there for five heart-pounding minutes, breathing the quietest, shortest breaths I could, it moved. I heard the footsteps padding away. It was a half hour before I dared leave the bathroom. I'm the only one in the house and I've checked every room. God, am I losing my mind? I still hadn't replied. I didn't know what to say, really. When I got this. Wednesday, 10.41 p.m. I can't even use the computer, it's gone funny. The audio is corrupted, the speaker's hissing, just messed up. Shit, wait. I put the TV on downstairs to keep me company. I can kinda hear it up here. For a second, I was sure I heard that song playing. I'm going mad. I went downstairs to grab some chips, just something I could grab quickly to keep me going. I don't like being downstairs alone right now. And as I stepped into the kitchen, I smelled... Why do I want to say death? The bins. It must have been the bins, realistically, yeah? They smell like rotting things because they rot. I went to look out the window earlier when the letterbox was going to see if I could see anyone. I couldn't see anyone out there. It was completely black. I couldn't see a foot in front of my face. Why are all the street lamps out? I replied and suggested that he call someone to come over and spend time with him or call his parents and chat to them. It was the best I could come up with. Wednesday, 11.03 p.m. I can't, dude. No one's around. It's just me. It's come just for me. I keep hearing it, that song. It's playing downstairs somewhere, and there are other noises too now. I hear them, the noise from before. I recognize the clicking and the breathing. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. I don't believe in ghosts or monsters, but there's something here. I can feel it. Wednesday, 11.10 p.m. I hear those words again, clearer now. Wednesday, 11.18 p.m. There's something in the house. I hear it moving downstairs. I'm trying to call the police again. Where the fuck is my phone? Please, call the police and send them to my address. There was no address there. I even highlighted the space at the end of his email to see if he'd written it in white. 
It's just blank. I don't get it. This isn't funny. I replied saying that there is no address. He seemed not to get it. There was no acknowledgement of it in the following reply. Wednesday, 11.25 p.m. For fuck's sake, hurry up. Get someone here. At least talk to me. I'm not fucking kidding. I hear someone downstairs in the house. Wednesday, 11.37 p.m. I hear it. It's coming. Christ, help me. And then the last one. Monday, 11.38 p.m. It's here. Help me, help me, help me, help me. He sent the last message four times, one after another. I had been trying to call him for last hour, pretty much, and there's no reply. I have no idea what the hell to do right now.